All right, you guys, so now, most of you, if you're a regular watcher, now know our secret. We are going to Hawaii. Ashley, are you excited? Yeah. So she's here with me in my room. I have been working up here, packing and getting things prepped for, well, like a week or so, but I wanted to show you kind of my process for packing and just kind of the prep work that I do ahead of time so that I don't stress about it leading up to the days before we leave on vacation. I'll show you all the prep work that I do kind of leading up to vacation and kind of how I pack our bags. And I, I still have some work to do, so we're not ready to go quite yet. And we still have more to add to this right before we leave. So it's not completely done and it won't be for a while, but I wanted to show you what I've got worked out so far. So I'm gonna show you that really quick. I'm actually gonna, it got hot in here. So I'm gonna pull my hair up really quick and then I'll show you what we've got. All right, so that's better. Just got a little bit hot up here. So let me just show you the suitcases that I've got prepped so far. This isn't anything formal. I just kind of wanted to show you my process and it's kind of in the middle of the process, which kind of I think is better. You kind of see the steps that I've done. So let me show you what I've got for the four suitcases that I've packed so far. Okay, so this is what we've got packed so far and I'll show you what's kind of in them. But this middle one here is kind of my conundrum. Not sure what to do with this guy. And then this is Kaylee and Abby's suitcase. Abby is such an organized person. She's got so much stuff all ready to go. This this one is actually in Chelsea's. So we got all those flip Hang on, I'll show them. I'll show them. You want to explain your bag to them? No. Okay, she's excited. Oh, we'll have her show you her bag in just a second. So this is Chelsea's side and this is Ashley's side. And then we're starting to kind of add shoes here and there. So what I like to do is have each kid have their set of bags. So Chelsea and Ashley are always together. Haley and Abby are always together because they don't have very much so they can kind of share a suitcase. And they'll be in their own rooms. So Abby and Kaylee will have a room. You will have your own couch room and I'll have you put your bag in my closet. And then this bag here is mine and or Jason's. That's where my conundrum is and I'll show you that problem. And then this bag here is the swimming bag. Let me show you kind of what I've got in this bag first. So without unpacking a ton of it, I'll just kind of show you. So the top thing that I have here is my cooler bag. I actually got this in Hawaii a couple years ago and it seems a little bit ridiculous to take a big huge bag like this. One, it doesn't weigh that much. It's not very heavy, but it does take up a little bit of room. But when you're on the beach and you're going to the pool and you're constantly having to keep food cold, then this really comes in handy. We actually just get some ice coolers when we're there and we just keep them in the freezer in our room. And then I constantly am able to have food on the go and that cuts down on cost big time if you can take food with you. The next thing I have in here is our sunscreen. This is actually the coral reef one that I kind of showed you in a previous video that I got from Costco. The reason why I haven't unboxed this one because I'm not positive I'm going to use all of it. So I've already got another one packed and I've un package that one. So I'm going to leave this one done up in case I can return it to Costco because they were like, I mean, it was a good deal. They're $12 a piece when normally each bottle is $9, but if I can take it back, I will. Okay. So then in this bag, it's a big Ziploc bag and I put all of the swimsuits in here so that I can just kind of put this out in the lobby of our room. And then the kids, when they're done with their swimsuits or we're going to pack up to go for the beach and we're not going to wear our swimsuits, they just put their swimsuits in this bag. And this is actually what I store it in, in the garage in general. So I'll let some suits are in here. Okay, and then let me just walk you through a couple of these things. These are our snorkel masks. I've done a lot of videos about these and you're gonna see these a lot when we're at snorkel beaches on the island. These are the best snorkel masks ever and we'll talk about these more when we're there, but they kind of come apart and then they go into this little bag. So we have three of these. We've got one right here and then another one here and then a kid one right here. Actually, this is probably the adult one and then this is a kid one. We have different sizes. So Jason and I can both go out with a kid where we can have a kid and an adult go out and have someone left on the beach with the other kids. And then we also have our fins. We have snorkel fins in here and we have three sets of those. We have one kid one and then we have two adult. Actually, this is the adult and the adult one right here. And then we have one set of kid flippers right there. And they actually come with snorkel masks and little stent, you know, like the snorkel pieces, but we don't take those because we don't like them. But we have a whole bag full of goggles. So three of the kids like their eye goggles to have it over the nose. This is just for pool swimming or light swimming in the ocean when they're not wanting to actually snorkel. And then Ashley likes her pair to just go over her eyes. Let me find, see if I can find Ashley's. They're really cute because they have a nice little soft backing on hers and then they're nice and little for her eyes. But I always take extra because we never have enough. Somehow something gets lost or left behind or whatever. So I always take extra goggles so we don't have to buy them when we're there. 
And that is all that's on this side. Let me show you what's on the other side. All right, so I forgot to show you some of the toys I've got. These are pool toys. This is kind of a water sponge where you squeeze it underwater and when you release it, it fills up with the water and then you throw it at each other. And then I like to get any kind of diving toy that's nice and bright. I actually should Sharpie our name on these because they always get kind of mixed up with everyone else's toys in the water. Got those on clearance at Target for like a dollar a package. That was awesome. Okay, on this side of the suitcase, I actually snuck in a box of fruit leathers. Got this at Costco. They just had a good rebate on it. So I suddenly just kind of put that in there. I know I could get that at Costco when we go, but. I'm pretty sure the rebate won't be effective then. So this is only $6 for all of these. $6 for 50 fruit leathers. So that was a really good find and I'm just gonna go ahead and take that with me. Then I always pack a Ziploc bag for all of my towels, which is what's in the bottom of this. This always drives Jason crazy that I pack and take towels because we can get them at the hotels, but they actually don't want you to take their towels down to the beach. And I don't blame them. So we pack all of our towels. We got six towels in here. These are the big ones from Costco. I'm kind of hoping in the next couple of years we can replace these because these are very, very old. For now, I don't mind taking them and using them. So what I use this bag for, look how big it is. So it's a big square Ziploc bag and I can actually fit all of these towels in it. So after we have used them and washed them, I put all these towels right back into the bag and then I can take this bag and set it right down inside a Costco recycle bag and we can put it right into the car, we can take it to the beach. It's super easy to travel with these kinds of things as well as store it when you're not using the towels. So I highly recommend these Ziploc bags. I use them all the time when I travel. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk to you about the situation with my bag. I use these packing cubes and I'll tell you what's in each one of them. But my problem is that I have now shared one of them, possibly two of them with Jason. I'll show you what's in his in just a second. But now I've kind of added a few things to it. But this is part of my process is that I start prepping the clothes and I start getting ready so that I know what I'm getting into. Okay, so this is my packing cube. It's the biggest one in the set that I have. And I wanna just show you how many items of clothing I have in here. I won't undo it all. But I have a pair of shorts, a pair of capris, a pair of shorts here, and then I have a dress, sundress, a sarong, one, two, three, four, four more t-shirts underneath there. This is a full dress, pair of pajamas, and then I have, let me count from this side where the fold is, one, two, three, three t-shirts underneath there. So three more t-shirts, and then these are all my tank tops that I wear underneath all of my shirts. So, I mean, we have a ton of clothes just in this one packing cube pretty amazing and I need to actually add this outfit because this came in the laundry so I'm gonna add one more outfit to this but look this I mean all of these clothes fit into this one cube and then it turns sideways and I can put more inside this bag all right so Chelsea's gonna help me be my Vanna White this is Jason's bag I wanted to show you how many things he's got packed in here so we've got his swimsuit and his swim shirt rash guard actually has two rash guards here and then he's got t-shirts in here he's got three pairs of shorts socks more t-shirts so these and this is the medium size packing cube. So Chelsea's gonna put more back on top and then we're gonna zip it up and I'll show you how it fits in. All right, so I'm gonna show you my dilemma because I really don't wanna use another bag because we have to check if we do another bag. So I've got two more of these little bags. I've got this pouch here that has my swimming rash guard and my swimming bras and my regular bras and socks. It'll eventually have underwear in it as well, but I, I need to use it until I go. That's why it's kind of loose. But that one will fit right in here. And then Jason's underwear will go into this little packing cube and that will fit right here, but it leaves this. So let me show you the, <laughs> Chelsea. So let me show you what's on the other side of this bag to show you why I'm kind of hesitating. Okay, so on this side, eventually it will be all of our ditty bag stuff. It'll be all our bathroom supplies in here. And then this is where my makeup and my face wipes and all that kind of stuff. And then I have this little travel duffel bag in case we have stuff that we wanna bring home we don't have room for in our suitcase. I have an extra little duffel bag from Ikea that I will pack in here. And then I have this bag in here and I put it in here because of the weight of it. Normally I would put this in with all the swim stuff, but I had to put it in my bag because this is all of our sunscreen. Chelsea's gonna be our Vanna. Put it over here, Chelsea, so we can see it. This is all of our sunscreen, and you might think this is overkill, but we really, with six of us, we kind of go through sunscreen quite a bit. Plus, we can only use these reef sunscreens when we're at the beach, and then I will use the regular sunscreens when we are just at the swimming pool or out and about going on hikes and, and doing things like that. And then also, Chelsea has to have a certain kind. Because I get hives. Yeah, Chelsea's allergic to some of the sunscreens. I don't know where the Neutrogena one 
Quinn. So there is a sunscreen here that Chelsea has to use. We're gonna test these Neutrogena spray ones and see if she's allergic to these ones this time. Otherwise, she just needs to use the Neutrogena lotion kind. And then I'm hoping that the reef ones are okay for her to use at the beach because I really don't wanna have to use these ones at the beach. There's a lot of weight with these. So I can't pack the sunscreens in the suitcase with all of the other swim stuff because we're gonna go overweight. We're gonna go over 50 pounds for this suitcase. So I needed it to come in here, but now with all my ditty bag stuff, I'm worried about not having room for Jason's last little cube. So let's see, Chelsea, can we fit his cube on this side? Oh, found some money. <laughs> okay. His cube fits in there, but then, see, then I run out of space. So. <sighs> So you see where my situation is. Chelsea's trying to figure this out. It's kind of where I'm at, and I'm doing this kind of informally because I'm st I'm still struggling with knowing where to put things because I really don't want to take another bag. So as it is, we have two bags that we're going to check, and that'll cost me like 50 bucks, I think, unless we go overweight, and then it's going to add a charge to that. And we have a, an airport credit with our American Express card. We have a $200 credit, but that's got to get us there and back. So the least amount of bags checked as possible is going to make sure that we don't have to pay out of pocket for any of our bags and then Kaylee and Abby will take a bag each with the carry-on bags and then they all have a backpack that they carry on I will have my purse and then I take a backpack with all my electronics in it we'll do a separate video with all of our carry-on bags actually probably very soon I'm gonna get those ready so you can see those and I have some cool t tips and tricks to do for that my only way out of this situation is that Jason only has this one bag right here. Oh, see, this is why I do this ahead of time because I just realized one of my problems. I'm gonna have to take another bag. Ashley, show me, hand me that. She is completely swim trained. Like, you know, she knows how to swim. But she needs a floating distance. But when she's in the ocean, I don't trust it. I don't, you know, anything can happen. And so I still want to take her floaty. This, this seals a deal. Like there's nowhere for this floaty to go. So we have to do another bag. And plus, uh, I literally just decided that just now. So Jason has this little backpack that he's going to put some of his st stuff in. And then I hate to say it, but I think that we're going to have to have him take a separate carry-on bag. Because my carry-on bag is literally going to be filled with electronics and laptop and charging cords and all that kind of stuff. And then my purse is just my purse. So we're going to have to do another bag. And I don't have a carry-on size left which is kind of unfortunate because that's really the only size that I have left of stuff to pack. This is why I do stuff ahead of time. The kids have been on me like, why are you doing this so early? And it's because I've, as I've gone through the kids' clothes even, I realized, okay, Chelsea only had three pairs of shorts and she technically wears those shorts every single day now as pajama shorts. So I had to buy her shorts, but they're not in season. So I have to buy them on clearance. So it's all about prep, you guys. I've been looking for summer clothes since last summer on clearance. I pull out my stash. And like you've seen in my in my haul videos, preparing yourself ahead of time means that there's not a higher cost and you have less stress right up at the time of travel. All right, so another one of my problems, I'm just like, we're just doing this really informally. I am working through a lot of different things as I prepare because I have to do this for six people. I always kind of joke around with Jason. This is actually the earliest he's ever packed before. Like literally the earliest he's ever packed. He actually has gotten better at packing for Hawaii ahead of time, which is really, really nice. It helps me to know exactly what we have available. I'm realizing that I only have, I'm not sure if I have shoes packed all the way. We're definitely gonna have to go with another bag, but we're just kind of reworking a few things. I've got Abby over there. She's kind of one of my ultimate packers. So I'm gonna work and see if I can pack things a little bit better. But th these are just tips and tricks that I have learned. If I can get things into four suitcases for six people, because I think that's pretty Pretty good. We have a lot more space in some of the bags. I'm just gonna kind of rework it. So we'll see what we end up with. All right, so the kids are actually on a roll right now. They are totally have an idea and it's I think it's gonna work. So while they're doing that, I'm gonna show you another bag that I pack. I don't take this separately, but I pack it with us. It's just my beach bag. I carry, I got this one in Hawaii either two years ago or four years ago. I forget when I got this one, it's kind of haggard. So I'm actually gonna look for a new one, but I have this really fun beach bag. And so I kind of prep that with my first aid kit. These are, this is an awesome first aid kit that I got on Amazon years ago. It has tons of stuff in it. All right, so here's the first aid kit. I actually need to get more Band-Aids 
They use this on a daily basis for all their little cuts and scrapes. But it's a really good first aid kit. I take it everywhere with me. I actually just keep this with me at the regular beach just here during the summer. So it actually gets quite a bit of use and it is still pretty full. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff. There's the Neosporin right there. We've been using that for a long time and it's still got tons left. So I do this and I also take some Clorox wipes with me. I just have these little travel bags of Clorox wipes. Never know when you're gonna need them. Sometimes picnic benches when you're at a beach or at a park, they're pretty nasty and you don't have like a picnic blanket to put on top of it or anything. So sometimes I actually wipe down actual surfaces. Maybe that's just me being too clean. But you never know what's pooped or spilled on a table when you're out in the public. So I actually will just pack this stuff in the bags and then use it when we go to the beach. Then all I have to do is stick our sunglasses, my wallet, maybe like a wrap or something in here. Instead of taking my big purse to the beach, I can just take this little bag with me. I think we've done it. Not everything is completely packed. I'm gonna preface that. We are still a little ways away from leaving. So just keep that in mind. Not everything is like all puffed up and packed fully, but we've got a plan. So let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, this first bag is actually gonna stay the same. This bag goes on top, cinch that down, added the snacks to this side. Chelsea went ahead and labeled our toys. I keep a Sharpie with me when I go. I'm actually just gonna put that right into my makeup bag. We label a lot while we're there. So then the next bag, these two bags right here are gonna be filled up with underwear and extra stuff. So that will fill up that little spot. There's my extra travel bag, just in case we bring home stuff that won't fit into our suitcases. And then on this side, I figured out my problem. We went ahead and got the floaty to fit in here. It's such an awkward shape. This is all the sunscreen, and then I got the first aid kit down there, my bag underneath here. And my solution for my makeup bag is I'm not actually going to check it. I'm actually going to carry that on in my carry-on. Because of the time of day that we're gonna travel, we're gonna get to the airport at like five in the morning, I think. And so I'm not gonna have my makeup done until I get to the airport. And I think I might either do it in the car or when I get to the airport and get all checked in, I might do it then. I'll explain our travel plans in another video as we get closer to that date. I'm not gonna do my makeup before we leave the house. So I need to have that makeup with me as we travel, get to the airport and get ready for our flight. That solved the problem there. And I'm not taking two of those makeup bags anymore I'm just gonna take the one I think I'll be able to do it if not I think I have some extra room in this bag I won't need to take shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that because I'm gonna buy that at Walmart when I get there so I think I'm safe on toiletry stuff Jason just has to pack a toothbrush and some hair gel into my bag and he's good all right, so we did some rearranging in the girls' bags. Abby is such a good packer. Kaylee is not completely packed yet. She doesn't see a need to pack quite yet, so that's fine. She's got her shorts packed. She's got some t-shirts packed, and that is gonna be her makeup bag. Again, it's not packed. And then there's her, her pajama sweatpants. She gets pretty chilly at night after she's gotten sunburned, and I guarantee you she'll get sunburned. So we moved all the flip-flops to this side of the bag, and then these are all Abby's clothes. She likes to fold them all nice and neat. And then these are her makeup bags and toiletry bags. Again, there's a little bit extra room down in there in case she thinks of something at the very end or she buys something. And then on this side, she's got her scrunchies and then they've got underwear in those two pockets along with socks. And over here, we have Ashley and Chelsea's stuff. And we went ahead and put dad's stuff in their bag because it was the one spot that made it fit. And then on this side, we have more flip flops and my Chacos and Ashley's Chacos. Or no, Ashley has Keens yeah. and Chelsea has Chacos. And then this is their little bathroom bag. Right. You wanna show us, Ashley? So I always do my hair because I like my bangs pulled back. So we put our toothbrushes. And your little ponytails. And we put names on the mine. Uh -huh. And Chelsea. And Chelsea's. And my bows will match. Uh huh. They're going to have their own bathroom, so they need to have their stuff all and ready my to go. Child. Yep. So they've got their clothes on that side and then the shoes on this side. So I think we're okay. I've got some extra room across each bag. Jason's shoes are not packed yet. Tennis shoes, I don't know if we're gonna take. It just kind of depends. We've got some room to spare, and Jason's travel, his carry on bag as of right now doesn't have anything in it so i may move some of my electronic stuff into his bag or we'll kind of work things around so so anyway you guys i wanted to kind of i used to do these as like oh cool and you know orchestrated to fun music as you watch me pack and do something kind of cool but this is the reality i'm kind of doing this and i'm making it up as i go last year doing this as a surprise was so hard so by the time i actually was done 
I could kind of show you an orchestrated process because I had to do it so behind the scenes myself. But this year I don't have to. The only thing left, I actually just saw, let me just show you. I've got their outfits all set aside for the airplane. So we've got some of our outfits here. This is my t-shirt and a tank top and my little capri shorts. And then Abby has a pair of little yoga pants and a little sport shirt. Chelsea has a t-shirt and some capri leggings. Ashley has a t-shirt and some pants. I'm gonna pack a pair of shorts for each of these two kids because when we get there, it is gonna be very hot and humid and they're gonna wanna immediately change out of their pants. But when we leave here in Seattle, it's gonna be cold. So we kinda have to do a dual. They'll put some shorts into their carry-on bag and they'll be able to change. All right, you guys, so that is it. Little informal, but that's okay. In a video coming up very soon, I will show you our carry-on bags and how I do those and tips and tricks to do for children. There's a six hour flight for us going there and then we have a two stop you know, flight coming home. There are things that I do to help kids travel better and not have any messes on the plane and have it just kind of go smoothly. My kids now actually sit by themselves. I go kind of two and two. And then sometimes Jason and I get lucky and we get to sit by each other. I will show you that in a separate video. It's kind of too much all for one video. So stay tuned, subscribe, come back for more. You guys, we are going to Hawaii. And I'm like, if you ha can't tell already, I am super excited. I am excited to take you guys along and you know, show you why we love Hawaii so much. And I'm really excited. So come back for more. Okay, take care guys, bye.